Hello, it's me, Craig, and it, it's Monday, so I'm doing my, well, I've done my, my reporting on the app to tell them how I'm doing on this NHS diet program of soup and shake, a shake and soup diet. Uh, I'm now about to enter uh, week number six of having nothing but that stuff there with a, a tumbler of water. That's a powder of a tumbler of water four times a day. And I've been doing it for five weeks. Uh, and I've been steadily, well, it's not steadily, I've, I've been losing weight. Uh, and I thought I would check in with the numbers. I've got the, the real numbers at the end, but I wanted to tell you a little bit first about what, what it's been like. Um, I've been on a bit of a downer uh, this week, uh, and I don't know if that's related to the diet. It probably is. There's kind of like frustrations there. I'm now at the stage where I've kind of like, I've noticed there's a difference in myself. I tweeted out a picture uh, of me sort of when I started on the diet, just my face and how I was the last video. And there's a noticeable difference in, how I, in my appearance around the face, uh, which is great news. Um, but I'm not really noticing in terms of, a little bit in terms of the clothing and stuff, but uh, I don't know really what I can expect to see after only five weeks. But uh, it has become a process of managing my expectations uh, so that I don't expect too much. Because, you know, the, I can't go on losing 14 pounds every week. That would be insane. So um, I think I'm now down to, uh, I think it's like four pounds a week. Uh, I said month there, 14 pounds in a week is what I lost at the start. Uh, I'm now down to like four pounds uh, a week, roughly. And I think that will go down, increasingly down. So, um, and, and as a result of that, obviously I've, I've lost a lot of weight now. What I thought I'd do is show you what that actually looks like in real terms of weight. Now, as you can see, I'm a, I'm a massive bodybuilder. I'm not. I'm one of these people who buys all the gear and then hangs my clothes on it to dry. But uh, I wanted to show you what the weight I've lost actually looks like. What does 14 pounds look like? Well, in kilograms, I have lost. I'll just have a look at my uh, chart. In kilograms, I've lost 16.69 kilograms. So let's see what that looks like. So here, oh, this is this is a, a dumbbell. And that's 2.5 kilograms there. That's fairly heavy. I don't know if it transposes on TV. So there's five. I'll try the five. Uh, so that's four of these is, what's that? That's 10. There's 10, 10 there. And I kind of ran out of dumbbells, but I've got these littler ones. So one, two, three, oh. I'm not acting this right, I'm not acting here. This, <laughs> I can't hold that up. That's how much weight I've lost. And it's actually a bit more than that. And I'm on, just going into week six. That, for me, oh, it's astonishing. Oh God, it's very heavy. Don't worry, everything's fine. Now, that was, I was carrying that with me everywhere I went. Out of bed, into chairs, onto planes, everywhere I went. And I've still got like that again to go, as far as I'm concerned. It might take another couple of years before I lose that again. But that's how much I've lost so far after five weeks. It's, it's uh, well, yeah, five weeks. It's astonishing. And uh, I'm, I'm quite proud of myself, actually. But there, there is, that's what, I'm actually amazed that how heavy that was. God, that's incredible. Um, that's the deal. So let's look at the numbers. Oh, let me just tell you first of all about my, my blood. And so the whole reason you go on the program to qualify for it, you have to be diabe diabetic uh, two, whatever that means, two. I don't know what it means, but it's two, diabetic two. And I was diabetic two. I just nudged my way into being diabetic two. So they put me on the program. Um, and uh, that was a worry for me because heavy guy, uh, in doing quite physical work, uh, not a family guy. So, you know, it's only me. If I don't work, if I can't work, that's it. I can't, you know, income. So uh, I've got to keep going and I've got to look after myself. So I'm a little bit sort of hyper um, protective of my health, although I wasn't when I was stuffing my face with Domino's pizzas. Thanks. This video is sponsored by Domino's Pizza, who got me in that mess in the first place. You didn't, Domino's. It was my choice. I get it. So I started out uh, on this with a blood 
um, glucose level of 12.7 mmol slash L. Do you know what that means? I don't know what that means. But it's 12.7, that's bad. That's not good at all. Um, I then did a manual entry of 6.3. Uh, that was seven days later. So it went down to 6.3. Now, this is interesting. The next, the next week, it went up to 14. Goodness me, I thought I was, uh, it was because I was having chewing gum. Uh, it's not the case at all. It wasn't because I was having chewing gum. It was because I had the kit I use uh, to take the blood. I left it exposed to light and air and all sorts of contaminations and the little computer didn't know what to do with itself. Uh, I continued to do that for the next week when it went up to 15 and I became concerned. Why is my blood sugar so high? So I stopped, stopped having chewing gum and, uh, you know, sugar-free chewing gum is supposed to be okay. But I just thought, no, listen, don't do any cheats at all. Don't satisfy my need to have a little snack. Just keep having nothing but this stuff, which is what I'm doing. Uh, and uh, last week, my blood sugar, no, it wasn't last week. It was, um, I think, a couple of days ago, I, I checked my blood sugar just to make sure everything's all right. And it's down to 6.4. Boom, that's great. And then this morning, it was 7.7 7, and probably still is. So isn't that awesome? Um, if I go on to my blood pressure, because I know you care about all these things. Uh, when I started on my blood pressure, I was 155 over 101, which is like, I'm going to die. Uh, it's not that bad. If you've, got, if, if you've got that, don't worry. You'll be fine. Lose a bit of weight. That's all. Um, so then I went down to, uh, <laughs> so scared everybody. Like, oh, that's what I've got. Uh, it's not good. And I, it was stopping me doing things I love, which is like for this channel, I do lots of walking. And I, uh, and I like to video it. But it, it got harder and harder. And then I noticed when I was editing it, all you could hear on the mic was me going <laughs> like that. And uh, I couldn't bend over to put my shoes on and I couldn't pick things up if I dropped them. And it, it was just a disaster. It was not uh, a good look for who wants to watch that. Um, uh, you know, I, uh, whatever. I'm not going to get into the, the fat thing. But anyway, uh, that went down to 130 over 83. Uh, the next week it was 128 over 87, 128 over 87 again, 125 over 84. I did loads of these because I was very concerned about my blood uh, pressure. This morning I was 128 over 78. So that's good. I think that's normal. I'm kind of back to normal with that. And to be honest, if I had just lost a bit of weight, I probably would not have been registering for diabetes. Now it could be I'm already in remission. I don't know. Uh, they tell me that it's going to be another sort of, um, once I'm reintroduced to proper food or normal food, not this stuff, uh, in, uh, after the 12 weeks, uh, I've still got like the rest of the year, uh, you know, what's that, another six months or something, uh, three months, six, seven, nine months of being reintroduced to uh, like a healthy diet, which I'm really looking forward to uh, because I've forgotten how to chew. The, um, now... Uh, I'm not going to talk about that one. I'm not going to talk about that. That's, that's no good. My mood is like, Whoa! well, I'm always in a good mood, but uh, and sometimes I'm in a bad mood, and I just put it in the app anyway. A bad mood today, and they, they and they've, they've got like experts who are probably like looking at my results and going, oh, bad mood today. Oh well, that must be because of the powder he's he's eating, he's drinking, whatever he's doing with the powder. I said, no, it's not. It's just a, I've had a grumpy day. I got like uh, two attempted takedowns of my videos in one week. I was furious. Uh, so that's that. Ugh! So I've done some calculations. I'll put these up on the screen. I've, I'm keeping a little uh, Excel sheet. Everyone loves an Excel sheet. Uh, so overall, I've lost 16 kilograms, which I've just demonstrated. However that is, that's 36.8 pounds. Today, I went down. And this is where you need to get your party hats on, because uh, I certainly did, metaphorically. I'm now below 300 pounds. I am now 298 pounds and one thing, 0.1 of a pound. So clever me, I'm ace, all right? So that's a loss of 4.2 pounds. Another four pounds gone, uh, and I hope that I can keep that up. Um, that is 1.9 kilograms. In fact, I can demonstrate that, can't I? One of these ugh, is, that's, that's 1.25 kilograms. So that's five kilograms, right? So I've lost one of them. Okay, that's off my cheek. That was there. That was there. That's what I used to look like. Now I look like this. Okay. Anyway, as you can tell, I've got, I got a little bit of energy today. I don't know why that is. I guess it comes and goes. But I'm going to use this energy now because I want to keep it at like four pounds a week if I can. Um, so in order to keep that weight loss going, even though my body is making less of an effort to move around, 
uh, I'm going to have to start exercising. So I was looking at potentially joining a gym and then I thought, what am I thinking? I hate gyms. Uh, and then I'm just going to start with just doing walking and I'm going to film them and we're going to see how we go with that. I've got a couple of things, really good walks planned and a camping event. It's not when I go camping, it's an event it's because it's so disastrous. Uh, I can only camp as long as a car that I've got access to is a few meters away. That's the sort of camping. I want to get into a stage like this time next year, I promise you, me and you, we will be going wild camping in some remote places in Scotland and uh, we're going to have a good time. But uh, for now, it's got to stick, be safe is what I'm going to be. And I'm going to, um, you know, do some do four miles, I reckon I'm going to start by getting back onto my four mile circulars. Uh, and I'm going to take you along for the ride. Uh, I'm going to get out on the bike a little bit, but the bike, which is folded up here, is not, uh, it's great. And I absolutely love riding it, but it's not really, I, I don't really get out of breath on it. So, uh, but I do enjoy it. I might sell it. I don't know. I'll keep it for now because I love it so much. But I'll get some more videos out on the bike, I think. Uh, because it's getting, it's turning nice. It's still cold, but it's turning nicer. So hopefully that'll be something we can do. Anyway, thank you, by the way, everyone, for your amazing support. Uh, I'm slowly building a subscriber base on here, and I really appreciate that. Once I've got to a thousand, I can start. I can start maybe get a tr trickle trickling back. I can do live streams and all sorts once I've once I've got to that thousand. So please do subscribe if you can and uh, encourage other people to as well. Tell your family, you've really got to subscribe to this guy. He used to be really fat, and now he's just a little bit fat. Uh, you can tell him that from me. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm not, I'm still technically by the doctor obese. I think my target weight is gonna be something like uh, 16 stone, which probably sounds like a lot. But if, at my age, and being me, if I go below that. I'm kind of thinking my eyes will start to be all sunken and I'll start to look a lot older. And I just don't think that's a very healthy look. So I'm going by, uh, as long as my heart's good and my blood pressure's good and my blood's good, then, you know, I can afford to have a, a little bit, you know, not be absolutely the textbook doctor definition of what I should be for my height and age and everything. Uh, be what keeps you happy, what makes you happy, and what makes you do what you want to do, which is what's most important to me. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I've rabbited on ages there, but I hope you found that interesting, especially the bit about those weights. Absolutely shocking. I mean, just to show you again. Oh my God. Ah, oh, oh. I mean, that I've, dro I've dropped loads, but you get the idea. Right, you get the idea. See you later. Take care. Bye-bye.